Hey guys, Paragon here, and a couple of you guys have asked if I would do the same Oryx video, but from the platform's point of view. So this time, instead of me running the Relic, I'm going to be down the bottom running the platforms. As you can see, my shiny new Touch of Malice. This thing is an absolute monster in this fight. You'll see there's a couple of us who have it, and uh, our DPS output is significantly greater than the last time that we did this fight. So from this position, we're focusing on burning the ogres as soon as they come up. Try to help out your buddy that's across the road from you when his ogre spawns before you, as he's probably going to do the same for you and make it a lot easier. And uh, the rest of the fight is pretty straightforward and the same as before. So we're running the exact same strategy. We're getting that bubble off the knight, bringing it to the center. Oryx will slam. We've got the weapons of light. And uh, you watch this time, we don't even need the golden gun that we used before. We've all got, most of us have a touch of malice and uh, the damage we can put out is much, much greater. So the advantage with being in the Aura of Immortality is it prevents the damage from Touch of Malice to yourself. So now, as I'm jumping into the Orb to detonate it, I'm going to do as much damage to Oryx as I can in between. As soon as it says detonate it, I'm going to leg it right back into that bubble. So I'm nice and safe again and continue damaging Oryx. So the rest of the fight, guys, will be pretty straightforward. A couple of things to remember with a Touch of Malice, when you're in the Darkness Zone, make sure you reload. Because when you take damage in the Darkness Dimension, you do not heal. So just if you're using Touch of Malice, those of you that have it, uh, it does have a really, really good damage output, but you need to manage that health. So we're hitting that Darkness Zone now, you watch me jump in first, and uh, I'm going to be using Touch of Malice, but reloading before I get to that final round, because I don't want to be losing my health in there. It's uh, not really going to be helpful for any of us. So guys, I'm going to let you watch the rest of the encounter. Thank you very much for watching and putting up with my voice. I'm just getting off the back of the flu and uh, my voice is having a really hard time. But don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and stay tuned for more Destiny guides, tips and tricks.